So let me show you the battlefield that is now my face. <laughs> Strawberry fields. Honestly, this has not happened to me in years. So yeah. So I'm just making some oatmeal and I think it's so funny because I got this oat milk from Costco. So I'm making <laughs> oatmeal with oats and oat milk. But I quite like this one. Two ingredients, look at that. Water and oats. Okay, this is the oatmeal that I eat every day. So I already eat a very healthy breakfast. That's not a problem. <laughs> oatmeal, cooked in oat milk. <laughs> uh, maple syrup, raspberries, blueberries. I put in three dates cut in half because I love the chewiness. It's like little pieces of caramel. And then the delicious crunchy walnuts and uh, tahini, sesame tahini. Very rich in calcium. Okay, I'm making this refreshing drink because today is quite hot outside. I think it's like 28 degrees. So yeah, it's one watermelon. It's like a pretty small watermelon. So you just open it up and scoop out all of the flesh. <laughs> and then some fresh mint and the juice of one lime. And plant your seeds of love so they can grow, grow, grow. Give us the roots down underground, melody with freedom sound. Yeah. Oh my god. We need the dragonfly lullaby, melody that takes us higher. Mm. The watermelon is like perfectly sweet and the I added like a um, lemon juice ice cube and the juice of one lime which makes it taste like a delicious tangy lemonade and then there's the mint. Oh my god, who needs like beer and wine when you can have this instead? This is great for the skin as well, which I really need right now. Oh my god. Let's pray this very vitamin E rich watermelon juice helps. <laughs> okay, I just tried this recipe for the first time. It's Lebanese style brown lentil and Swiss chard soup. Now it doesn't look exactly like my mom's, but I think it will still taste really good. So it has potatoes, a lot of Swiss chard, red onion, garlic, celery, and of course brown lentils. And I think there was almost one cup of lemon juice in here. Salt and pepper, this will be great take care of my digestion and my skin. It's really hot, but let's have a little taste. It's really good. Mm. Mm -hmm. So for dinner, honestly, I'm just not really hungry. But I thought if I'm not hungry, I'm still gonna have some steamed broccoli with a little salt. Just to have a little bit of nutritional value and something extra to help my skin and digestion. Bon appétit! So I just made myself some ramen. And it's like a lemongrass um, flavored ramen. I put in some mushrooms, tofu, that I kind of marinated. So I uh, yeah, have broccoli, cilantro, and honestly it smells so good. Okay, let's have a little taste. So yeah, my breakouts, by the way, are still really, really bad, but I honestly feel like they have calmed down. My digestion has been getting better gradually over the last three days. Mm -mm -mm. Oh my goodness. This is amazing. The tofu. I haven't had tofu in, in several days. I love broccoli. Yesterday I just had broccoli for dinner. <laughs> A big bowl. Big bowl of broccoli. Didn't even taste the ramen. Let me taste the ramen. Mmm. Mm, I love that. So I'm gonna enjoy that. Mm. So it's already been a few days. I think maybe five days since I started this. Honestly, my skin is not really getting better. It honestly, it just looks pretty much the same as the first day. I even rewatched that video from the first day and I think it's worse right now. 
to be honest like right now I'm chill but it's like haunting me like I hate this I feel like I'm back in the past when I used to have all the cystic acne I would go see the the acupuncturist um, Chinese medicine practitioner that I was seeing when person who cured me but I think everything everything must be closed right now because of the COVID-19 but I think I'll check because right now I'm desperate I mean I'm eating pretty well not perfect I am eating like a tiny slice of like banana bread with chocolate chips in it um, it has no like white sugar it has only coconut sugar in my recipe but I'm kind of getting discouraged but I just ha I know I just need to keep going it's just it's a mystery to me like I have definitely eaten worse in the past I, I, don't, I don't know what's happening I mean I just have to keep going that's all that matters so I'm gonna show you what I'm making for lunch right now I'm making some um, okra sauteed okra and I'm gonna be making some kale in the oven it's gonna get a little crispy and a little bit of couscous because I'm kind of craving couscous I don't really feel like rice I really want the couscous flavor yeah. Okay, so the okra is ready. I added some cilantro last minute. I love the smell of cilantro like sauteing with the vegetables. Red onion, brown cremini mushrooms. Oh my gosh, if you could smell this. Of course, there's garlic, olive oil, black pepper, a splash of lemon juice because it helps the viscosity. Crispy kale is ready. Yeah, yeah. So the couscous is also ready. I added some Ceylon cinnamon fennel seeds and coriander seeds because I love this kind of Moroccan flavor. So here's the final result. Crispy kale, couscous, the delicious okra, mushrooms, onion, garlic, cilantro. Bon appétit. Oh my god. Gaps it time about it. Mm. Oh my goodness. I think that's the best okra I've had in, in a very long time. There's a couscous. Yum. Mm. I think we put a little bit too much water, but it's still really good. How about the crispy kale? Do you hate when people eat with their hands? Because because of my Lebanese upbringing, very normal for me to put my hands in the plate. <laughs> We just came back from a bike ride. It's like 36 degrees Celsius right now. Oh. And we went to the health food store nearby. Got these so delicious salted caramel treats. Uh, what is it? Salted caramel cashew dipped frozen dessert. <laughs> so yeah, I just wanted to show you that I'm not always, always eating like super extra healthy. That brand, so delicious, makes a delectable caramel. Honestly, every time I, 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 I have some of their caramel flavored ice cream, it's just, mm. it tastes like divine, honestly, so good. So I think it's been about two weeks since I started this journey, I guess, this mission and I'm getting these weird breakouts that have like pus, one, two, this one doesn't have pus yet but I think it's going to peak like tomorrow. I can't tell you how frustrating this is as someone who <sighs> lived with like really, really, really severe cystic acne for maybe a year and a half. It took me several months to to finally heal it with weekly acupuncture appointments and changing my diet completely. Um, so the big cystic acne that I had in the beginning, this, this one, 
um, they're gone. Like you can see that the, the spot is still there. Like there's a red, red spot. It's still, I guess, actually it's still a bump, but like I'm really happy because it's really calmed down. But these little ones are so weird and annoying. Um, I also wanted to kind of give you an update. I'm feeling much better today, but I was feeling so low like last week or so. I've It was really, really hard for me to like, I don't know, I was just feeling sad. I'm trying to just calm down because I know that the stress will produce more, um, you know, the stress hormone, cortisol, and that will just make it even worse. So I'm just trying to really calm down, do some things that calm me down, relaxes me. Um, recently, I've been, I discovered the joy of taking a bath. <laughs> so I got some like bubble bath product and um, bath salts. Yesterday I took a ni really nice bath. So anyway, that's it. Um, I guess I'll finish the video here. I just wanted to give you this update and I'll keep going. So as I said, it's been about two weeks. Almost feels like I'm purging something. All right, thank you for watching. And I guess I just want to document this and see what happens, you know, and share this with you. Show you that, you know, I'm just struggling a little bit. <laughs> Oh my goodness. All right, pray for me, please, and give me some tips if you have some. All right, bye. Be in your heart, be in your soul. And plant your seeds of love so they can grow, grow.